name's Amy Marson. I'm the publisher at CNT Publishing. I'm an avid crafter and I love to embroider. So today I'm here to talk to you about our Wash Away Stitch Stabilizer. It's a great product. It is, um, you apply it with pressure and I'm gonna show you how I do it. So the first thing I do is I start off by pressing my fabric and I do that to get some of the really big um, creases out of it. Now I like oak shot fabric and the reason that I like it is because there's a lot of depth to it. So I've got white thread going in one direction on this particular one and then I've got this beautiful cerulean blue thread going the other direction. And what that does is that gives you some extra depth to your stitching. So when you're stitching with the stitch stabilizer, one of the things you want to do is you pick out what you're going to stitch. Now I've been doing a series of famous paintings and so the next one I'm going to do is this one by Van Gogh and it's the cafe and so I've got my picture. The reason I print out a full-size picture is I use it for color placement. The next thing I did was I went online and I found a line drawing and here is the line drawing and this is a sketch by Van Gogh that he did prior to doing the painting. It's a little bit different from the painting but that's okay because I do a lot of improvising with the stitching that I do. So what you do is you take your printed piece, so this is what it looks like at first, and you slide this through your inkjet printer. On my printer, it goes face down, it rolls through, and it comes up. Whichever direction yours goes in, it is only good to use on an inkjet printer, or you can draw on it. But don't um, put it in a laser printer because it won't work. So I've printed my piece here and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel it off so I peel it off and I set that aside and then I lay it down on my fabric and I try to center it and then I just use pressure to adhere it so I just push down with my hands and it's nice and stuck and as you can see you can lift it up and it stays perfectly I want to show you what I'm currently working on. Um, I'm working on The Kiss by Gustav Klimt and I printed this out full size. Um, when I started working on it I realized that I wasn't as crazy about it as I thought I would be because I didn't like the geometric shapes. So, but I'm going to keep working on it and my prize at the end is I get to do all the flowers at the bottom. So I'm saving that till the end to motivate me. And here you can see it, it's inside the hoop. So the great thing about using the stitch stabilizer is you can hoop it or you can stitch without hooping it. Either way works. And even if it pops off like this, you just hand press it down and it stays like that. And then you can see here I've stitched at the bottom and I've got that in the hoop now. Don't worry about any of that because when you wash it out, the fabric sucks everything back together and it looks uh, just perfect. So now I'm going to show you what I've been working on, or the first one that I did, which was Starry Night by Van Gogh. So this was the first one I did and you can see uh, it's got nice crisp edges and then on some of them I went outside the edge because I like to do that. And what it shows you is you get this surprise at the end. So you can see here that you can see some of the dark blue background fabric through here. Well you're not going to see that when you're doing this because you've got this opaque background here so you don't really get to see how it looks against your fabric till the very end and that's like the awesome surprise at the end it's you just get to see all the cool things and how it turned out when you wash away the fabric so one little piece of advice so when you're all done you put this in your sink with warm water you want it to be flat you just swish it around till it's all gone lay out a flat terry cloth towel roll up your fabric in it squeeze it dry and then lay it flat and block it out and you'll end up with an awesome embroidered piece that you can give as a gift to your friends um, one other little thing i forgot to mention um, i always make a little tassel of all the threads that I use and I attach it so sometimes I put it here sometimes I put it on the front um, depending on how I frame it but it makes a lovely gift once again it's the wash away stitch stabilizer by CNT publishing and if you haven't tried it you really should it's really fun to stitch with thank you mm -hmm.